following the EFL's announcement on Wednesday morning, Norwich City were quick off the mark, emailing all season ticket holders of arrangements for the home game against Preston North End. The email had a link to the ballot entry via the club's website, with supporters able to submit applications to the random ballot either individually or in a group of up to six from their pre-existing friends and family groupings. Full details of the application process, together with a detailed code of conduct, had to be read before submissions to the ballot could be completed. With the ballot process closing at 5pm Thursday, supporters were notified just after midday on Friday whether or not they had been successful in the ballot. Friday's congratulations email gave full details on how to collect your tickets, a reminder of the supporters' code of conduct, plus key points relating to your arrival at Carrow Road and once inside the stadium. On match day itself, Carrow Road had safety barriers across the roadway just by the exit to the club shop, which was open but operating a one-way system, together with further security barriers behind the River End stand on Geoffrey Watling Way. The ticket off each queue was short at about 10 people just after one o'clock, and there was hand sanitizer provided for all fans with suitable signage just at the ticket office entrance. With the tickets collected in just under five minutes, the envelope also included a further reminder of the code of conduct together with a stadium plan showing entrance points to the stadium. Entry points were well marked with clear social distancing markings on the ground. Temperature checks were quick and efficient, with hand sanitizers again available next to each ID ticket checking point. The whole process from ticket collection to entry of the external secure zone took under five minutes, with stewards friendly, informative, and quick with their assigned tasks. The external secure zone also included refreshment points and programs. Once inside the ground, the concourses lacked their usual hustle and bustle with kiosks closed. There was ample social distancing signage everywhere on toilet approaches and within toilets and also on stairwells leading to the seats. Seating areas were zoned into singletons and family groups with adequate social distancing in operation throughout. Overall, the atmosphere was good throughout the 90 minutes, with supporters delighted to be seeing live football again for the first time since the end of February. At the end of the game, fans were asked to remain in their existing positions, with stewards leading fans out row by row in order to avoid overcrowding at exit points. Overall the atmosphere was good throughout the 90 minutes, probably better than I expected, with the organisation of the events excellent throughout, with everything feeling safe and secure.